on his contract. He's still one of the elite players in the game. He just saw the Golden State Warriors win the championship this past year. He's going to be as motivated this offseason, this coming season, as any player in the league. Kyrie's still under contract. So is Ben Simmons. So is Joe Harris. So is Seth Curry. I think you don't panic and you stay pat. I've been telling you, I would have made sure that James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and, J uh, and KD would have at least played one playoff series together. I would not, I, I know James was shutting it down. He even missed the game because he said he had a bad hand. But now that all of these people that I just mentioned are still under contract, led by that guy right there, you do not move them. So let, let, let's talk about some phone calls, Jacoby. You okay. look down at your phone. Who can call you with one player in exchange for KD? Well, there's a few, but none of those players are going to be on the table. So there is no sort of like true one-for-one -one Kevin Durant trade that's going to be on the table. There isn't. Well, it, it has to be family because when you're trading one of the top three players on anybody's list in the game, you got to give me a guy that made this year's All-Star game and will make the next five All-Star games. Not no one-time All-Star, not, not, not no plus one. You need somebody that's really about to, KD about to average 30 this year on 50, 40, 90. Like, you don't move that. And I'm trying to tell you, unless they're talking about moving Giannis, which they're not, they're not I ain't moving him for nobody, nobody, nobody. You see Miles uh, Blackman, uh, 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 Spike Lee at a Nets game? No body. So, Mr. Rose, <clears throat> he has requested a trade. Apparently, the, the Knicks are working, I mean, the Nets are working with Rich Kleiman in order to make that happen. So, it sounds like there needs to be a real conversation if you want him to show up in training camp. How do you handle that if you are Steve Nash, Sean Marks, and the Nets? I'll tell you another secret. I might have Rich Kleiman and Sean Marks' numbers in my phone. And I'm going to tell you something, family. I can orchestrate a three-way if they need to. And here's what the conversation needs to be. Are they going to get Giannis in return? If I don't hear that, okay. Well, can I get Booker and Aiton in return? Okay, I can't do that. Can I get Jimmy and Bam in return? Okay, well, then we can't do that. So there is, so if you're a contending team, you're going to have to give up too much of what you already have to acquire him. And if you're a lottery team, you're going to have to gut the team so much he's going to be unhappy to be there. That's why wild cards come into play like Toronto. Mm -hmm. They have multiple assets, multiple players. They got a terrific GM. And they'll just roll the dice with my guy Masai Ujiri, who's arguably the best in the game. So, like, these teams that everybody glamorizing about KD getting traded to, that will be awesome for him. And I wish him the luck landing where he hopes to land. But if I'm the Nets, you think I'm going to trade him to the Warriors and not get Steph in return? <laughs> well, I'm Warriors, not going to be able to do it. The, war the Warriors have been discussed as a potential landing spot. You know, there's some packages that they can put together Man, with please. some young players and some picks Man. and whatnot. Couldn't you see Kevin okay. Durant? returning okay. to the Warriors of all places. Let me name some people, and I want you to tell me. Uh, Wiggins was an all-star this year for the first time. Mm -hmm. That might be the only time he make the all-star game. Let me say that in a different language. That might be the only time he make the all-star game. Same language. Next thing, Kamiga, Wiseman, Poole, they ain't make the All-Star game this year. So we can't talk about KD, and ain't no guarantee each of them going to make the next four or five years. So there is no path for me. You got to give me an elite player. I need Giannis. I need Luka. I need Ja. I need, uh, if, you, if, if Minnesota's on the phone, talk to me about Cat and Anthony Edwards. Like, that's what I'm going to need in return for Kevin Durant. So I... Don't see this happening this offseason because if you're the Nets, also, why rush? And let me tell you one other thing. While we're 
Right now, by the way, I just got double boosted. Let me tell you why. I see the coronavirus cases are going up in different places. This is important to the Nets. Why? Because Kyrie Irving was a player that didn't play last year during home games because he wasn't vaccinated. I'll bring that up because we're going to talk so much and people have talked so much about the games that Kyrie has missed over the last three years. David Jacoby, KD has missed more games the last three years than Kyrie has. He's 34 years old, still a terrific player. You don't rush to move him with years left on his contract. Well, we'll be, we'll be discussing Kevin Durant a lot this summer, something tells me, but there's something that you love, Jalen. You love when a star player stays in one uniform for their entire career, and it looks like that's what Dame Lillard wants to do with the Portland Trail Blazers. Signed a two-year, $122 million extension that keeps him in Portland through 2027. What does this deal tell you about where his head's at, where this franchise is at? Well, first off, it tells me Chauncey Billups was a great hire. And as you start looking around the landscape of the NBA, you noticing so many former players are having an impact on what's happening with these franchises, not only wins and losses, but just the being able to speak the language, being able to nurture young players, being able to uh, consistently be a responsible voice for veteran players. Because if Dame don't like the coach, he leaves. Because they ain't a contender. Mm. They ain't a contender. And so I know it's easy to look at the money and say 122. If you're Dame Dollar, you can find a way to get that bread somewhere else if you really, really want to. So I applaud that he's going to stay loyal to the Portland situation, and you're right. I do applaud that. I've, I pre, they're, they're having a really good offseason so far, of a couple of really good signings. So, I, again, the West is just so stacked, Jacoby, but it's good to see Dame getting paid. I hope to see him healthy and hope to see him back playing all NBA basketball. We got to get him back on the show. We I know he got some sort of mixtape coming out. Yeah, I know he got some sort of mixtape coming out this offseason. We got to get our guy back on the we'll show. We'll get him on the show. Well, we had the finals, then we had the draft, and right now we're already in the thick of Summer League, and some of those players that were drafted very high are making impressions. No one was drafted before Paolo Bancaro, and he has looked like a true number one pick. We're going to go through some of these rookies. What do you think about Paolo and his fit and his look in Summer League? So let me just talk about Paolo's offensive game. And what I mean, like his body type, his aggression, his ability to like get his shot off the dribble and a really good underrated passer for his body type. Like when I'm watching him, he looked like a lot like Michael Beasley. Like he, he, he really be hunting and being aggressive for shots. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. And you know what else he's showing me? He's a lot more athletic than I thought. He had a big block at the end of the game the other day. He had a 360 dunk during that game with two hands. He's a lot more athletic and better shooter off the dribble. So I understand, as we talked about going into the draft, why if you wanted to quote unquote try to play it safe, Paolo ended up being that guy representing Seattle and he's doing a terrific job in Summer League. Well, one of the players that wasn't quote unquote playing it safe was Chet Holmgren. Such a high upside. We've had the whole Chet Holmgren experience so far in Summer League. Sometimes he looks like the best rim protector you've ever seen. He's dribbling with seven feet, leading the break. And other times he's getting pushed around. Jalen, what do you think about what you've seen from Holmgren so far? I talked to you so many times about players who change their body types and become terrific players. We're going to continue to look at Luka and Zion right now. But what about the players who got stronger, like a Kevin Durant, like a Steph Curry? I think what's going to happen with Chet, when you see him now, yeah, he has a chest like he's in sixth grade, but he's going to grow into that. And he has so many attributes, however, that you can't teach. Number one, like he has great court instincts, like his ability to help him recover and pay attention to like guy's strengths and weaknesses on the fly. I've been enamored by that. And just playing like grab and go, get a defensive re get a block, get a defensive rebound, go coast to coast, make a play for himself, make a play for a teammate, and obviously rim protection, three-point shooting, like the sky's the limit for his potential. He clearly, I ain't gonna say clearly, but like, because my guy Jaden I, uh, uh, Ivy's been balling for my Pistons, but like amongst those bigs in particular, like Chet has like th the superstar upside amongst he, really the, uh, he and Paolo and, and Jabari Smith Jr. to me. Well, if you want a chance to see Chet Holmgren and Paolo Bencaro go head-to-head, -head, you get that tonight. The number one and the number two picks 
will be playing Ooh. in that middle game in a triple header all on ESPN Ooh. tonight. You don't want to miss that when the New York Knicks will also be playing the Trailblazers. While we ain't talking about the Pistons, they go oh, with we're the We're going to talk about the Pistons right now, Jalen Anthony, Anthony Rose, because the two top picks okay, of the Pistons have looked good. Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran. Mr. Rose, what have you felt as you watch these two young men don your uniform? To be honest with you, I was on the phone with the Taylor yesterday. And how I feel about these Pistons, I got to be looking good at these games because they about to be putting on the shelf. <laughs> that, 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 Jaden Ivey, you can't stay in front of him. You cannot stay in front of him. He, I, I, he's looking sometimes like a Westbrook body type to me as a young player. Sometimes he's looking like a Ja body type to me. But his, exp a, 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 a John Wall sometimes mm. to me, like, he, he, the sky's the limit for what he's going to be able to create for himself as a teammate. And look at Jalen, the number 13 pick, hanging all on the rim. You know we love our big guys in Detroit, like Bill Lambeer <laughs> and Bong, Ben Wallace. You know, he's just going to fit right in with his physicality, his shot blocking, and he got an underrated handle. You know, I was watching him the other day. I'm like, you know what? He got a chance to be like a Bam out of bio a little bit. Like he got a handle oh, okay. going behind his back. Oh, yeah, the shoulders I'm like, working. I'm like the young working. fella got game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got some Jaylen, with, with that thing. It is time for you to tread very <laughs> carefully because it is the don't get fired topic of the day. And now, the don't get fired topic of the day. We're very serious journalists here at Jalen and Jacoby, and uh, we have no idea if this following story is actually true. However, that's not going to stop us from talking about it, because apparently here's what happened. <laughs> Zach Wilson, quarterback of the Jets, him and his girlfriend broke up. Apparently, according to rumors, his girlfriend started dating his friend and roommate from BYU. And then she posted on Instagram after she was called a homie hopper that the true homie hopper is Zach Wilson, because Zach Wilson, wait for it, Slept with his mom's best friend. Jalen Rose, if you're a Jets fan, does this make you feel better or worse about Zach Wilson heading into his second year on Gang Green? I, 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 wish, I, wish, this, I wish this topic was cultural or regional. But, but here's why, though. The sleeping with the mother's friend part. Mm. Like, that, that's just nope, something nope. That, 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 that's just something that's like, that's just something that's like taboo. You know best what I mean? That, that, that's, it, it, oh, taking man. the time, appreciate you. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, man. Jalen Jacoby, it's always good to be back. We are like celebrating I feel your <laughs> surprise release of the song Ooh, and video. Ten run. years. What an amazing release and project this is. What inspired you to create not just the song, but also the amazing visuals that accompany it? I'm never not kind of thinking of like raps, it be they run the jewels or, you know, solo killer Mike thoughts. But the thoughts were there and you had the last couple of years not to do nothing. You know, we were supposed to go on tour Rage Against the Machine and it kept getting postponed. Finally, we go out in a couple of weeks with them. We'll be out until 2023 with them. So I just had a lot of time to kind of just want to scratch a creative itch that I had. And me and my right hand man, Cuz Lightyear, we were working on something in tandem and then, you know, I was like, I really want to get off the of solo joint. And my man said, you know what, let's do it. And he a and would it. And, and man, when I remember when the beat for Run came, no ID did the beat. I remember when the beat came, me and Cuz were just like, oh man, we got to smash this. We got to tough this. And I'm proud that I can use my intelligence to edutain and not just entertain. Absolutely. And I've always appreciated your intellect, your leadership and obviously your music because you're one of the dopest to do it. But one of the things I always appreciate about you is everything you do is thoughtful. Like, an artist like yourself, when I hear your material or Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole, I'm like, they're not just trying to, like, give me a hot verse or a hot line. Like, they're giving me a lifestyle. So can you take us behind the imagery that a lot of people are gonna see when they check out the video run. Yeah, when you look at the video run, I think it's important, you know, I, we've had for the last two years, I've had to endure very uh, politicians that we voted in because we assumed them smart, have a very stupid debate. And the very stupid debate has been about CRT. 
Well, CRT is something that's taught in law school. I talk about it on, on my show, Love and Respect. I talk about how CRT is not, it's, it's, it's advanced even past college in terms of theory. And it talks about how systems are created or in place that annex blacks and other minorities out out of. We all have a shared history and ancestry here. And for me, I wanted people to know that Blacks been there every step of the way. So there's a protagonist, a hero running through this video. And at first you think he's running from something, but he's not running from anything. He's running toward freedom. And his ancestors are behind him. Sojourner Truth is behind him. Shirley Chisholm is behind him. Fan Lee Lou Hamer is behind him. Frederick Douglass is behind him. Booker T. Washington is behind him. And um, it's a very entertaining thing to watch. It's very cinematic. And what I like most about it is at the end of the video, just as if you were standing in the Louvre and you were watching beautiful art on the wall of the High Museum in Atlanta, you get an opportunity to experience the video then at the end of a painting uh, and a win, not a loss. So I have a question for you about um, your Atlanta Hawks. Because I remember two years ago, they were in the Eastern Conference Finals. They were on the up and up. Trey Young was kicked down the buildings here in New York City. And uh, yeah. last year didn't really yeah. go that way. How do you feel about your Hawks right now? We're coming back. Like, I feel about the Hawks, man. How Falcons fans feel about the Falcons, man. How Browns fans feel about the Browns. You're not getting me to leave my wife. You're not getting me to leave the Atlanta Braves, and you're not getting me to leave the Atlanta Hawks. That's simply not happening. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen, man. I'm, I'm, I'm with him. I, Trey is definitely dope. I love what Collins has has, has grown into under, under the in the paint, and um, I'm hoping that we get a small forward or shooting guard that really wants to turn up, man, and be and be, be in the lineage of the Michaels, the Kobe's, you know, just the, the people that want greatness. I think that Atlanta's a great city. I think we have the makings potentially of a great team. You know, we might have we might have faltered a little bit last year, but I'm pro Hawks. Everybody knows we knows that. That's never that's never gonna stop. Absolutely. And before we let you get out of here, because you know there's so many different ways we could go with our conversation with you because you're such a renaissance man. I have to ask you, what's up with my guy LP? Where he at? Oh, Yankee man. in the brain. Where's my guy? Oh, at? Let me just, when we I gonna get let another you, project? Man laryngitis and COVID kicked our butts right at the end of the European tour. Right when he defeated laryngitis and we missed Birmingham, we were able to do Primavera in Spain, killed it. Then, man, COVID started kicking my man's butt. Then, I was supposed to do the Hollywood Bowl with Robert Glass, I was excited about that. COVID jumped on my back. So, let's all just say this. Because we've already seen the worst, please come out to the radio this machine show in which we're opening because COVID can't touch us for the next six months and we're going to be kicking ass all across the U.S. Yes. Yes. Shouts out to we LP, will man. Be there. Run the jewels. We will be there to represent and we appreciate you taking the time to join us, family. All love and blessings. I will see you professionally at Greenwood Bank. I'll also see yep. you when I'm doing charity work, eating wings at Blue Flame. I'll hit you up when I, I get down I got you, brother. There. We got to help New York mothers through nursing school. Love and respect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Love, you bro. so much, Killer Mike. We'll be back with more. Gen